Greetings, Earthlings! On a previous episode of Terrific TV Toys, we showed you some vintage Star Trek Mego figures, along with one reproduction Star Trek figure. So let's continue that tour around the galaxy now with three more figures. They're all modern reproductions. Two of them are Star Trek aliens. One of them happens to be a security chief. And each one of them is an out-of-the-box experience. For this first of the three parts, we're going to start with one of the two aliens. And we're going to start with the alien that I've always been very partial to, the Andorian. <laughs> I love Andorians. I think they're just so adorable. And this is a reproduction of a Mego action figure that came out about 1976. This one is from 2007 from Diamond Select Toys or MC Toys and um, is very close to the original. In fact, if you go to MegoMuseum.com, they have a photo of the original side by side with the new one. And boy, I don't know, you'd have to be really a professional at Mego action figures to know what the difference is. It's very, very close on all of these figures, really. Um, I got this one in downtown London, Ontario, Canada, in the summer of 2014. And you can see on the price tag here, it was marked $17.99, but what I ended up paying was $9.99 on special, but that was Canadian, so I got a really good deal on this. Woohoo! And um, it was very cool. And actually, the other two figures I got from that same place, that same comic shop in downtown London, Ontario, and I'll dig out the name of it for the other, for part two, because it was a very cool place, and I want to mention it in these videos. I enjoyed my time there. So this is the Andorian. The Andorians first appeared in the Star Trek universe in the episode Journey to Babel, which aired on November 17, 1967. It was the second season of the original Star Trek series, and this character basically was created by D.C. Fontana, who wrote that episode, Journey to Babel. And this was the episode where we met Spock's parents, his Vulcan dad and his Earth mother. And we learned a lot more about Spock in that episode. But also, playing into the storyline of this um, set of ambassadors and delegates to this conference were a couple Andorian characters. There were two Andorians in the episode, only one was not really an Andorian. He was a vicious spy, and he was sort of the perp of the episode, <laughs> trying to frame Spock's dad for a crime, and um, in general, just spying, and he turned out, spoiler alert, to be um, an Orion in disguise who had been surgically altered with the blue skin and the nice little antennas, one of which broke off in one of the scenes of the episode because he had been surgically altered, um, to look like an Andorian. So this is going to be, as I mentioned, an out-of-the-box experience, which means we're going to open the packaging all the way and take a look at it and play with the figure. Only for this, um, this sort of thing, and you'll see this later in some other toys that I'm going to do in future episodes. I've got a set of figures by um, Figures Toy Company for the Batman 1960s Adam West live action series that I think they're the same way in that they're meant to be opened in the case and then to be able to be resealed too for collectors who want to put them back in the plastic. I'm not going to do that because for one thing this packaging um, is having a little trouble. It's a little smashed here in the front and it's got a corner missing anyway so I don't need to put him back of the plastic. I probably will save the card though because I like the cards. Let's take a look at the back of this too. It shows the other figures in this set. This wave I guess that was from 2007-2008. We've got Captain Kirk, Dr. McCoy, Mr. Spock, and then the Romulan and the Klingon you saw in that previous episode of Terrific TV Toys. My Klingon is the repro from this set not an original, although I have several original Star Trek Migos in that same episode. So you see on the back, we've got the CBS logo, owning the copyright for Star Trek. We've got Diamond Select Toys, MC Toys with their websites, and then um, Comic Shop Locator Service. This logo, a tribute to Marty Abrams, who was the father of the modern action figure, as he's referred to, but the Mego founder. Um, so definitely a really wise, smart guy, because I love my Migos. I admire Marty Abrams and um, some list of the features and all of that. 
for this and Dorian and then you've got the little the small shots of each of the figures in the set on the front so let's open this thing okay and I'll also note that Endorians first appeared in that Journey to Babel episode, but then in the original series, they also appeared in the episode Whom Gods Destroy and the Lights of Zetar and um, Gamesters of Triskelion. So they popped up a few other times. They're just very memorable. I think I'm going to need my scissors for this. Oh, maybe not. Um, nope, I guess I can snap it open. Anyways, and then they have appeared in other Star Trek series. Yes, I am going to go for my scissors. Um, they have appeared in other Star Trek series over the years. Um, notably, uh, the Star Trek Enterprise series <laughs> with Scott Bakula. They were heavily used um, because there was really a main recurring character of an Andorian who was sort of a friend of Captain Archer's, although they seemed to be at odds at times, but I think they had an, an edge of respect on their animosity or their <laughs> their state of being adversarial. Um, so you saw him. His name was Shran on that Star Trek Enterprise series. Um, okay, forgive the very loud noise here. Yeah, this is going to be so mutilated, I would not put it back in the plastic anyways, it looks like. Because this stuff is some tough plastic. Let me cut this, too. Okay, now we can free this little guy from his plastic captivity. Let's take out this card. It's not really a card, though. It's really, it's not cardboard. It's just maybe more like um, thick paper stock, glossy, that they printed on. Oh, he's just so cute. Oh, he's sweet. Oh, I just love him. Okay, sorry, forgive me. Anyways, um, <laughs> so he's got his outfit on this very much like what the two Andorians were wearing in that episode, um, Journey to, to Babel. They had this sort of sparkly undershirt on that was sort of a silver sparkly stuff. And the one... It was really more the delegate character, not the guy who ended up being an Orion slave or Orion spy, but the other guy, the main Andorian. Um, this outfit, I think, is more similar to his outfit. He had sort of a leather tunic on over the silver sparkly shirt, although I think they both were wearing dark pants. They were not wearing the silver sparkly material. Of pants. So you see this figure very similar to what you saw in the episode, but not exact. And then the skin in this light, um, I'm not getting, this light is just getting too blown out. I wonder if I could turn the camera a little bit and get a little bit different light on this because I'm not happy with how much it's almost like overexposed because you can't really see the blue, but he's got a very pleasant blue color to him. And um, then white hair painted on and his antennas. And then his head turns like any other Mego. And he's very articulated. Of course, all of the Migos are very articulated. And then he's got these brown boots that are removable. So it's really, I wonder if it's one piece. Um, yeah, it looks like this whole thing, the silver, is um, not a shirt and bottom, but one piece of a leotard, essentially. So that was easier to manufacture than, than a separate piece for pants. And it's like a little, <laughs> like the plastic zip ties here in the back for his belt. Um, I won't undo that right now. But, but yeah, it looks like just one leotard piece. And then we'll put his boot back on. Um, so the brown plastic boots, and then these are not removable gloves. I'm not going to try to force it. They don't seem to be, although I see where the shirt ends here. And he does have blue skin underneath. Oh, wait. Actually, I did get these gloves to go come off. There we go. So they are designed to be removed, and they're hard plastic gloves rather than like a vinyl glove like a lot of Mego figures have. And we got the articulation going on here with the wrist, like a lot of Mego figures. Um, so, there you have it. Um, and let's see what we have on the back. It says, the copyright on the back says, trademark and copyright 2007 CBS. 
So that is our Andorian. He is just so adorable. So look for the other two episodes where we will open up the other two figures and uh, relive a little bit more of that classic Star Trek lore. Thank you.